Welcome to ALBH, everybody. We are going to have a rocking time up in the Dells. We are going to do it. We are going to surf. We might even go to Baraboo once or twice to help those people out. Welcome to LBH. Yeah. Post-game recap, what happened? Got out. We made the Sudoku motion and ended up terribly. Um, tragic loss. We're gonna, we'll come back stronger next time, though. You know, what did you make? Made a milk, you know, wasn't the right choice. Gonna have to be better next time. Father Michael, where are we going? We're, we're going into the church. For what? For Palazzo. Are you having fun with it? We're having lots of fun. Making great memories. What did you just do? We just went on a hay ride. What does that mean?
The chat is spoken. Ready to go clean some trails? Yeah. What are you guys doing today? Painting! Yeah! Well, how do you feel about this? I like painting. I saw God today, um, first of all, uh, you know, I just got to tell you, you know, a year and a half ago, we had COVID, and I didn't know if I'd ever be here again sharing a God where I saw God today, because quite honestly, it came out and we didn't know. First of all, I didn't know what was going to happen with LBH and Lindsay and Meg and Max, core teams, thank you so much. I see God in you all the time because you did not let LBH die because of a pandemic. And that's awesome. I didn't know if I'd ever be here. And so I, I am so thankful to this right now. But what I really want to say is that at growing up, the one thing that really has always stuck with me is that we are all made in the image and likeness of God. And you know, by society standards, I don't think, they think, I am made in the image of society's standards. I might be slightly overweight, I might be losing my hair, I might be old. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because I am made in the image and likeness of God. So you ask me where I saw God today, I see it in every one of you. And you know, I get crazy, I get a little loud, I get loud when I'm at LBH, I'm sorry. The rest of you guys put up with me because I get so excited about our mission. It's just awesome. Hey guys, welcome to LBH. We're um, leading right now. And, uh, Ryan, I don't know if you can see him because I can't see me. Um, but Ryan's currently leading. We got Max over here. I stole his camera. Um, we just ate a lot of ice cream. It's 10 o'clock and we already took our first break.
good. That's a good one, Rob. Do it. <laughs> hey, Paul. <Hi. laughs> Welcome to our camp. Uh, we're at Camp Gray we're right camp Gray. now. Okay. We're stacking wood like pros. Come, yes. up, come along and yeah. come up. Come. Wow, amazing. I do it because I'm a pro. <laughs> 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 Jesus wants to revive our faith. He calls us forth from the tomb, from our lukewarmness, from our sin, from our addictions, from self-hatred, from unforgiveness. Jesus, he calls you by name. He says, come out. Come out of the tomb. Come out of the darkness and remain with me. He cried out. He loved Lazarus. Lazarus was his friend. Jesus loves us. He wants us to have abundant life. He wants to revive us, to renew us. Invite the Holy Spirit into your heart to rekindle that flame, to revive you in spirit, where you have grown with grown, that you may be on fire. That you may be on fire for the Lord. Because if not us who, don't say someone else will do that. Jesus wants you to do it. Jesus wants you to be that light. He's made you to be that light. Be the one to bear it. God has given you gifts. God gave gifts to Mother Teresa. He gave them to St. Francis. But he's given gifts to you that he wants you to use. Only you can reach your family, your friends. God wants and desires all of us to be true missionaries. Not just in word, but in truth and in deed. So we pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit this night, that we may be revived in our faith, that love may grow strong within us, that through the intercession and the example of St. Teresa of Calcutta, that we may be fired upon the earth.